Dreams Production. Hey smileys, welcome back. It's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you like good vibes. So I'm super excited to be back with another Nailed It video. It has been a while since I've done one and I'm trying something that I've never done before. I am going to apply tips and acrylic nails today for the very first time. So please wish me luck. I started out with my normal nail prep. I trimmed and filed my nails, cleaned them with an orange stick, and then gave them a quick buff with a buffer, and then washed them. So here are the nails that I'm gonna be using today. I ordered them on Amazon. The first thing I did was picked out the tips that fit my nails properly, and then I used a bit of glue on each nail to apply the tips. You just wanna hold um, or press firmly for five to 10 seconds on each tip to allow the glue to dry, and you're all set. I've been watching Nail Career Education's channel and she's amazing. Years of experience and she breaks things down really well so it's easy to follow along. Make sure you guys check her out if you're learning to do your own nails. She's very helpful. I did go back and cut the tips down a bit. I don't mind long nails. I actually like long nails sometimes, but just not this time around. After that, I used a file to shape the tips. I'm going for an almond shaped nail this time and the tips are surprisingly easy to shape. So this didn't take a lot of time at all. The acrylic nail kit that I'm using is by No Lift Nails. There's a primer, a nail liquid, and four powders. The first step is to apply the primer. I allowed one coat to dry and then I went back and applied another coat and um, this is for the natural nail, so it's okay if you don't cover the acrylic completely. Now for what I thought would be the hard part, applying the acrylic. I wet my brush with the liquid nail and then dipped it into the powder to form a small bead on the tip of my brush. I then applied that to the top of my nail near the cuticle and used my brush to shape and smooth the acrylic. The hardest part for me was getting the liquid to powder ratio right so that the acrylic wasn't too runny or thick. But overall, this was easier than I thought. After I finished my acrylic, I filed and buffed more and then gave my hands a wash before moving on to my uh, clear base coat. And now for our color. This color is from Sephora by OPI and it's called Break a Leg Warmer. It's a dark gray and I love it. I mean, I like it. I think it's different. And there's probably not one color that I wouldn't try at least once. I applied two coats of gray, then followed it up with a clear top coat as well to seal in the polish and give the gray a nice glossy shine. You all know what I'm talking about. And these turned out way better than I hoped. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have you ever tried a gray polish before? What's stopping you? Pretty. Look at that. Finally, I used some cuticle oil around my cuticles and I'm all done. I'm, I'm in love with these. I mean, basically I never have to go to a shop again and I'm excited about that. I just, I surprised myself. Let me know what you guys think. Love you. See you next time.